Yeah, I mean, I think um, I, I was watching the the second of your specials, and you know the um, the frustrated use of an f bomb um, is is really evocative and effective. Um, yeah. <laughs> it makes you laugh every time. You know. I love that. I I, I love that special. It's it's really really wonderful. Um, I mean, when were you first attracted to doing stand-up? Obviously, you know, you've been a funny person your whole life, right? Like, you've been trying to make people laugh since you were a kid. I mean, what, what, how did this all come together? Well, um, stand-up is an indigenous art form to America, so I wasn't really familiar with it. It was like, there's three indigenous art forms, jazz, hip-hop, and stand-up comedy. And, um, and, you know, jazz is already spread throughout the world. So when I came to America, at nine years old, um, you know, I was introduced to hip hop, which is a big part of my life to this day. <clears throat> and then I saw stand up and I loved it. It has this storytelling tradition as an Arab who comes from a storytelling tradition. I find it so fascinating to see one person on stage telling stories and being deeply personal at the same time while delivering these hilarious punchlines it's like and sharing it with a crowd i thought it was i was just immediately in love i was like this is what i'm going to do for a living when i was 10 years old when i saw it i was like this is it this is what i'm going to do and four years later i started in in my high school english class um shortly after my father passed away which makes sense which really tracks to take that pain and start doing stand-up comedy was was truly something that saved my life and and uh, refocused everything for me.